I titled this Ephesians 6, I Obey Your Parents. I It's a, from a sermon from, sorry if I got his name wrong, John MacArthur. I, I have the link below. Wanted to hear your thoughts on this sermon. I watched half of it. I wanted to talk about some of the parts where he describes what's going on with society uh, in one of the parts where uh, he describes the, the conditions of the family. And I wanted to use my example for uh, a part of this video because I wanted to share with you how many people uh, want to know what, why they were cursed with maybe an abusive parent uh, or, you know, maybe a dysfunctional home. And I was asking that question in prayer, like, God, why, why did this happen? And um, I immediately was led to that sermon. And, sorry about my hair. I wanted to share it because I thought a lot of people ask the question, like, why did I have the parents I did, or why was I born? And we were all chosen for a reason, obviously. We weren't obviously chosen to be abused. But it was really interesting. It was this the verse in, in the scripture that he uses, Parents do not provoke your children to anger. And there's parents that do this, that they provoke their children by abuse and what's going on with society. And when I listened to his sermon, I thought it was a, worth talking about. I really wanted to share with you that link um, it might be helpful uh, as we grow in Christ. We want to know more about the Lord. You know, we want to grow in, in definitely in this area, especially if you're wounded. If you've been wounded in the past by that type of situation. I, too, ask the same question. Uh, why did my mother do the things that she did to me? When I was a kid and also as an adult and I I am learning more and more about forgiveness and the spirit of the fruit of uh, forgiveness is to that I want to bear the fruit of what the Lord has in store for me but I didn't know that until I listened to the sermon you know what the fruit of forgiveness is, is that I will bear fruit because of the forgiveness that I have. And I was just reminded of my niece, how obedient she is. And she gets yelled at. And it's very confusing for a child to get yelled at. And a lot of people have to be careful when they yell at their kids especially with obedient children, because in this world, uh, there are traps everywhere. So just as a note, if you uh, understand where I'm coming from, and, or you want to listen to that sermon, I hope you do. And that's it for tonight. Good night and God bless.